Good morning, Gavon, and welcome back to the Oriole Report. I'm Eli G. Vara. And I'm Laura Ryle. We hope you had a great winter break and a good start to the new year. We begin with our top story. A new clinical trial is underway to detect multiple cancers in the early stages. Recent research shows a person's breath could indicate the, the presence of cancer. It'll be a two-year long trial in the UK. And now let's check in with Ethan for our Avon forecast. Thanks, Elijah. Today will be sunny with a high of 28 and a low of 13. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a high of 34 and a low of 28. Wednesday will be cloudy with a high of 36 and a low of 27. Back to you. Thanks, Ethan. Our theater program is doing all sorts of cool things this year. And this Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the auditorium, you can get a chance to look at their preview performance of The Hunchback of Notre Dame ahead of their state conference. This is the second year the talented thespian troupe 8320 competed in the state competition. Last year they came sixth. The tech crew came first with the play Eurydice. This year they did the play Letters to Sala. Let's see how they did. Sala because it's a large cast for our department, so I was able to use a lot of girls, which is what we mainly have. Um, and then it was also a really interesting story about it being a true Holocaust story and not just a fictional one um, that does have a happy ending at the end. So how this works, it's just like any other competition for athletes, um, but we do it for theater. So we have a regional competition where everybody brings a 45 minute cutting of a play. So you have 45 minutes to set up, perform, and tear down. Then we have three professional judges that um, will give you feedback and they have a rubric and everything. So in the top two shows out of the regionals advance to state and we do it all over again, but this time it's for five different judges and we give out awards and trophies at the state level. I feel really strong about our performance. Um, I think we're growing more and more with uh, our department and how we're able to um, tell different stories. Our acting skills are getting a lot better. Um, so I'm pretty confident with the kids and what they'll be able to do. I thought it was a phenomenal play. Um, we definitely had some people tearing up while watching it. Um, and it was just a great story to tell and I'm glad that I was a part of it. Um, so there's two eras. There's an older Sala who is explaining what's happening in her letters and what happened in the, um, the labor camp. And while that's all happening, um, young Sala is reenacting all of that and showing all of her struggles and her adventures. I'm Lima, Sara's, Sala's um, mother-like sister. And Sara is a friend from home who eventually gets put into a labor camp with Sala's two sisters. And Zussi is a fellow prisoner who um, gets to experience liberation with Sala in a labor camp. I really liked how like, some of the lines in the script were the playwright actually took those lines from actual letters. So one of the um, the love interests, his lines are mostly from his letters. So I thought that was really cool. From what I see, they did pretty good. Avon placed fourth in the regional competition. Let's wish them luck with the Hunchback of Notre Dame. For AHS News, I'm Connor McLaughlin. Now let's see what's cooking in our Oreo kitchen. In the homestyle line, build your own burger, corn, and baked beans. In the international line, chicken smackers, dinner roll, and corn. And in the grab and go line, Chef with turkey ham salad, turkey and cheese bagel sandwich, protein box, yogurt meal, hot and spicy chicken sandwich, and a PBJ Uncrustable. A reminder, Pre-Med Club will meet today from 3 to 4. There will be a guest speaker in the ALC LGI room. And there's a new club at Avon. It's called the Girls Club. It's a place to come together and talk about issues relevant to lives while empowering women. The first meeting will be in Miss Weed's room. D215. This Thursday after school, stop by to learn more about this club. Weedy, I'm sorry. Students, do you need to contact your counselor about your schedule? You can request a meeting on Schoology. You only need the paper form and the office if it's an emergency. The counselors will get back to you on Schoology as soon as they can. The deadline for schedule changes is tomorrow. These are the guidelines for class change requests. And if you're dropping a study hall for a class, and if you're dropping a class for a study hall 
are not allowed in one. If you're dropping a non-academic elective for an academic course, or if you're upgrading your course level from regular to honors or VU or AP, schedule requests will not be honored for specific teacher requests. Specific class periods dropping an academic course for a non-academic course elective or dropping one elective for another elective. Transcripts will be given out in SRT this week. And BPA will meet tomorrow in room C205. This will last from 3 to 4. And before we go, uh, we want to remind you, if you see something suspicious in our school, quickly say something to a staff member to help keep our school a safe place. And that's all for your show on this Monday morning. Have a great day, Avon.